Do you know where your birth certificate is right now? If you don't, you might need to see it soon. Or yeah, you might need it. Yeah, a lot of us are going to need a new driver's license to get on a plane next year, but okay, that's not going to be easy for a guy who has been around longer than most birth certificates. <laughs> Here's Kevin Reese. I think I'm a pretty good driver. It's not unusual to find Albert Bigler on a riding lawnmower on a 100 degree day, cutting the three acres around Grace Lutheran Church in Ennis. <laughs> the problem is that technically the lawnmower is the only thing right now that he can legally drive. I'm nobody. <laughs> Nobody, he jokes, because the Department of Public Safety won't renew his driver's license unless he can find a birth certificate. But Albert's never had one, not for all of his 95 years. Yeah. County, were you born in? I really don't know. He was born in a house, not a hospital, somewhere west of Fort Worth in 1924, and his friends at church have called four different counties. And none of them had records. They've submitted a baptism certificate, proof he served three years in the Army in World War II, even made a trip to the Bureau of Vital Statistics in Austin. I've been driving for six to five years, maybe longer than that. But still, he's been told that without a birth certificate to prove who he is, he won't get a new license. I think it stinks. Which means he can't vote and he fears he won't get to renew his fishing license either. It's just like you're taking, taking everything away from me. Texas law can require documents like a birth certificate to establish citizenship, to fight identity fraud, and to show you have a legal presence here. Albert does still drive around Ennis, but he'd like to do it legally. And his friends want to find someone to help make that happen. Because he, he needs to have his independence. I mean, that's why he's maintained his health. And as long as he is healthy, he's committed to at least driving that lawnmower on those three acres once a week until someone can tell him the right path to take to prove that 95 years ago, he was actually born. In Ennis, I'm Kevin Reese. What do, what do they say about there being uh, an exception to sure, every rule? Sure. I, I, this case seems to be crying out for it. Uh, maybe you're wondering how Mr. Bigler was able to get his license before. Well. Workers just took his word that he was born here. Oh my goodness. To learn more about the documents you need to get that new star on your license uh, that you'll need come end of next year, just click on Kevin's story on WFAA.com.